I just switched from console to PC to find out if playing Fortnite on a PC really is an advantage compared to playing on console. And I am not switching to keyboard and mouse, meaning all my improvement will solely be because of my switch to PC. To set a milestone for myself, on my last day on console, I won one my friend Carney was a lot better at fighting than me. And surprisingly, I actually came to a quick lead getting 3 early kills. This lead quickly fell apart. Twenty-four. Yeah, I actually ended up losing 20 to 4. So on my first day on PC, I hopped into Raider's mechanical map to practice the speed and consistency of my edits. But I was making a lot of mistakes. I was missing a lot of edits that I shouldn't have been missing, and I was going pretty slow as well. Then I practiced my aim in Raider's aim training map. My aim was feeling pretty good until I hopped into the shotgun drill, where it was literally impossible. I could not hit these targets for my life. Then I played some of Ken Bean's Speed Realistics, where I was losing a lot of rounds that I probably should have been winning. To start off day 2, I just free build to torment my mechanics. I felt pretty smooth, but I was still making a decent amount of mistakes while free building. Next I hopped into Martaz's turtle fights where I was mostly practicing my shotgun aim. start off day 3, I 1v1'd Carney and random viewers in my new 1v1 map. And I was actually beating him a couple times until, well, this happened. <laughs> yeah, I'm lagging, I'm lagging. Yeah, we just don't talk about that. But anyway, after that, I started 1v1ing random viewers on TikTok Live. And while some of them weren't the best at the game, it was still pretty good practice. And after a bunch of 1v1s, I hopped into rank to get some realistic fighting practice. To finish off the day, I played Jivin's late game solo creative map, and this is my best game from that.
day four, I hopped back into Reader's Mechanical Map to practice my crosshair placement. Then I used another map to practice crosshair placement, and all the maps I used today, the codes are in the description below. After that, I focused on improving my shotgun aim. I actually became better at this shotgun drill and I even hit the targets a couple times. Day 5 started off with some duo ranked. See? Did he throw bees wasps at me or did I? Dead. Cracks. 42 white. Dead. His teammate's not. Try and get it. 36 Did white. See? Dead. Destroyed. I was already feeling a lot better than I did five days ago, and we even got a 13 kill win. Yeah, we. After the win in ranked, I hopped into my 1v1 map and did some drills to practice my crosshair placement. Then I played Raiders Peace Control Practice map. In day 6 I grinded my aim in Clix's newly dropped aim trading map. When I got to this part, it was mad hard for me on controller, so let me know in the comments below if you guys have played this map on a controller before, is it a controller thing or is it just my problem? I ended with a time of 821, which is obviously not very good, but it was just my first time playing the map and I know I can make a lot of improvements on my time. After my aim was feeling really good, I hopped into some speed realistics to practice for the 1v1 against Carney tomorrow. And let me tell you, I was winning a lot more rounds than I was in day one, until this happened. In day seven, we grinded the aim again. And I was doing so much better in this shotgun drill than day one, it really shows just how much improvement I've made. And the last thing I did before my 1v1 against Carney was absolutely grind speed realistics. After all of that practice, I was finally ready for my last 1v1 against Carney, where it started off bad. I was down 4-0 early, but I made a mini comeback, getting a few kills on Carney to make up for the deficit. Wait, you were just winning for two rounds. 150, bro. I don't want to hear it. Dead. But then it went down bad, eventually losing 11 to 4. No way. One out, 150, full piece, dead. Oh my god, Sean, you just got work. 11 4. But then I locked in, and the improvement I've made on PC really started to show. Bye. Oh. That cracked, give me that crack, kid. Get my crack back. We oh, suck! Oh my god, I really thought he was piecing me up like that. <sighs> Yup! Then bro rage quit, and I had to convince him to join back. No! Oh, he's gonna just trick me. 
Bro thinks he's not gonna get tricked. I think he's tricked. Nice. <sighs> no. Oh, we have no mess. Oh wait. Nope. Carney ended up winning the last three rounds, making the final score 20 to 10. But this is still a 250% increase from my 20 to 4 that I lost to him earlier in the week. Overall, I would definitely recommend getting rid of your console to buy your dream PC. It is worth the investment, and if you want to get a good budget PC, the parts of mine are in the description below. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.